In this video, we will talk about human factors in aircraft maintenance, famously known as Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen refers to 12 most common conditions that can act as preconditions to human error, leading to accidents. This concept was developed by Gordon Dupont in 1993 in Transport Canada, and it formed part of training for human performance in maintenance. List of dirty dozen includes lack of communication, lack of resources, lack of knowledge, lack of awareness, lack of teamwork, lack of assertiveness, complacency, distraction, pressure, stress, fatigue, and norms. However, they are not in any specific order of priority. Lack of communication. Poor communication is considered a major contributing factor in accidents. Because, transmitted instructions may be unclear. Thus, people may develop assumptions about message transmitted or received. Therefore, communicate information clearly. Convey complex messages in writing. Keep verbal messages short and focused. Avoid assumptions and encourage questions. Lack of resources. If all the parts are not available to complete a maintenance task, then there may be pressure on a technician to complete the task using old or inappropriate parts. Resources include tools, data, personnel, skill, knowledge and time etc. Lack of any of these resources can affect one's ability to complete a task. Therefore, availability of proper resources is essential for completing tasks successfully. Lack of knowledge. Lack of on-the-job experience and specific knowledge can lead workers into misjudging situations and making unsafe decisions. Complexity of aircraft systems requires good technical knowledge and training to complete the task. Due to fast advancements, employees' knowledge can quickly become outdated, thus requiring continuing professional development, including latest knowledge on human error. And, employees must always consult publications instead of relying on memory. Lack of awareness. Awareness is knowing about things around you. Working in isolation may cause situational myopia and lack of awareness. Lack of awareness may result from human factors, such as stress, fatigue, pressure and distraction. Therefore, awareness is important to have foresight to prevent mishaps. Lack of teamwork. In aviation, most tasks are team affairs, implying that teamwork is essential for safe outcomes. When employees do not contribute to the team effort, this can lead to unsafe outcomes. This means that workers must work as a team, by relying on others, as well as, give support to others. To be an effective team, understand mutual roles and responsibilities. Lack of assertiveness. It is the ability, to communicate our concerns with conviction. Because, lack of assertiveness, makes ineffective communication, and, degrades the teamwork. In order to have a good team, employees should be encouraged to be assertive. Remember, do not confuse assertiveness with aggression. Complacency can be described as a feeling of self-satisfaction and loss of awareness of potential dangers. Such a feeling often arises when conducting routine activities. It may result in degraded vigilance and missed safety indicators. Complacency may also occur after an intense event, like a disaster, while excessive demand causes overstress. Low demand results in boredom and complacency, consequently deterioration of human performance. Next is distraction. Distraction could be anything that draws your attention away from the task at hand. It is the number one cause of forgetting things. Hence, avoid becoming distracted or distract others. Remember, humans tend to think ahead. Thus, when returning to a task after a distraction, 
go back a few steps to resume where you left. Pressure. Work pressure is inherent in aviation environment. However, when the pressure to meet a deadline interferes with our ability to complete tasks correctly, then it becomes hazardous. Pressure can be created by lack of resources, especially time, and also from our inability to cope with a situation. When deadlines are critical to achieve, then ask for extra resources to complete the task with desired quality. Stress. In aviation environment, there are two types of stress, acute and chronic. Acute stress arises from day-to-day -day work demands, whereas chronic stress is accumulated over long term. Some early signs of stress include changes in personality and moods, lack of concentration and poor memory, and errors of judgment. Therefore, it is important to recognize early signs of stress and use stress management techniques to reduce stress. Fatigue. It is a natural feeling of tiredness or exhaustion. We can become fatigued because of long periods of work or periods of hard work or lack of rest or sleep. When fatigued, our ability to concentrate, remember and make decisions reduces. Signs of fatigue are mood swings, irritability and anger. Therefore, recognize signs of fatigue and use required countermeasures. Norms. These are unwritten practices which develop over time, which can be both good or bad, safe or unsafe. These are also called rules of thumb. They are not formally tested for potential threats. Whereas, rules and procedures are formally designed and tested. Therefore, eliminate norms in your workplace. Or, formalize them, as approved procedures. Here we can summarize, that, Dirty Dozen is a list of human factors, that contribute towards accidents or incidents. The aim of the concept was, to focus attention on reducing human error. Therefore, organizations should adopt a system to identify human factors and use specific countermeasures to reduce human error from causing an accident. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more safety videos.